Hello and welcome to Yadokari Nation. My name is Caroline and today I'll be talking to you about bathing your hermit crabs. Bathing your hermit crabs is really quite simple and these are all the supplies you'll need. Dechlorinated fresh water, the same kind you use in their tank. Stress coat. Two little containers. Plenty of paper towels. And one larger container that I like to call the romp tank. You'll be putting your hermit crabs in this after you're done bathing them. The first step to hermit crab bathing is pretty simple. You just have to make the bath. You take your stress coat, shake it up really well, and you're going to just put one or two drops into one of your little containers. You don't need a lot of stress coat. Literally, two drops. Don't put any more than that. Stress coat is useful in bathing hermit crabs because it contains aloe and it helps restore hermit crabs natural slime coat in the same way it would for fish. Now you just take your fresh water, again fresh dechlorinated water like you would use in their tank, and just put a little bit in there, maybe just enough to cover the bottom depending on how large your hermit crabs are. You don't want to completely submerge them, just we're going to just bathe them. The second step is to actually take all of your hermit crabs out of your crab habitat and put them in one of your containers. Don't worry, they won't be in here for long. This is a small sampling of my hermit crabs because a bunch of them are buried. The bathing process is pretty simple. Start with your smallest hermit crab. In this case, mine is Calypso. Put her right into the bath. You see, we don't want to actually submerge her all the way, but you do want to pour some water. Get her nice and wet. You're going to give each crab a couple minutes to run around in the bath before taking them out to dry them. And you could actually do more than one at a time. So my next smallest crab that's here will probably be, this is Ray. She's an Ecuadorian crab and she can share the bath with Calypso. Make sure the water you're using for the bath is room temperature. You don't want your hermit crabs to get very cold since they'll be out of their heated tank. You can also do it in a room that's not particularly cold or turn off the air conditioning if you have that option. Be wary of prison breaks. Oftentimes when you're bathing crabs in one tank, they're trying to get out of the other one. Once your hermit crabs have been in the bath a few minutes, you can start to slowly remove them. Let go. So they're all wet now. You want to give them plenty of time to dry off. Bathing is also a good time to investigate your hermit crabs and check for any lost limbs or feelers, check for molting signs, just see how they're doing. Hermit crabs need to dry off thoroughly before putting them back in the tank after you give them a stress coat bath because stress coat cannot really go in their drinking water though it's good for their exoskeleton and for their skin it's not good for them to drink it so you want them to dry before they go in their tank. You can dry each hermit crab individually and then put them back in the tank directly or you can set up what I like to call a romp tank which is just a container like this one something your hermit crabs really can't climb out of with some fun toys and neat stuff for them to play with. It gives them a good change from the normal tank, lets them explore and they only stay in the romp tank maybe 10 or 15 minutes, so they're not out of the moisture or the warmth too long. If you have a lot of hermit crabs like I do, this can be quite a process. Make sure to save enough time to give all of your crabs equal time to bathe and dry. Strange as it might seem, bathing is actually a highly debated topic in the hermit crab community. Not everyone agrees on whether or not you should bathe your hermit crabs. I found it useful in my own crabs, and all of my crabs that have been bathed have been relatively healthy. They molt on a regular basis, their colors are bright and beautiful. I don't know if that's from the bathing or just from the food they're eating, their environment, who knows. It doesn't seem to hurt them, and it does clean them, and it gives me a chance to really inspect them, make sure they're in good working order. If you're going to bathe your hermit crabs, don't do it more than once a week. That's every seven to 10 days or so. 
good to pick a day of the week to have your hermit crab bathing or just mark it on a calendar. Dr. Sampson is the hermit crab I've had the longest. I've had him since summer of 2011, so a little over two years. And I've been bathing him for all of that time. You can see he's very active. He's molted a number of times. He's very active. He's molted a number of times. And um, he seems very healthy, so bathing works for him. Even if you don't want to bathe your crabs on a weekly basis, which is fine, you should always bathe them when they come up from a molt. When a hermit crab comes up from a molt, they can still smell like their exoskeleton. And that smell is delicious to other hermit crabs. You don't want them to smell delicious, so always give them a bath. You can give them a bath with stress coat and fresh water like I just showed you, or you can do it with just fresh water. It's a good idea to bathe hermit crabs that you've just brought home from the pet store. This is because they could smell strange to your other hermit crabs, but also because they might have bugs. If you bring home a hermit crab with mites, you should probably be able to tell. Usually there are bugs on the crab or in their shell. Mites are very dangerous and can actually kill hermit crabs. So you have to bathe them very thoroughly. The best way to do this is to, of course, have your crab in their isolation tank. And once a day or every other day, give them a really thorough bath. What you're going to want to do for a mite bath is actually take your hermit crumb, say pretend it's a hermit crumb, and fully submerge them in water and get water into the shell. That's because there are mites in the shell all the way down, probably along their abdomen. You have to put them in the water, just submerge them, don't swish them around or anything like that. You don't want it to, to stress them too much. Put them in the water, make sure the shell gets full, and then take them out. We're not submerging them very long, maybe 10, 15 seconds. And then you're going to turn the shell sideways and the water should all flow out and the mites should flow out with it. You're going to want to do this maybe once a day or once every other day until the mites are gone. It really depends on the level of infestation. My larger term of crab, Dante, had a minor mite infestation when I brought him home from the pet store. It wasn't very severe, so it went away rather quickly. Pretty much what I did was I bathed him fully submerged him and also squirted water into his shell and then turned him sideways to pour it out because water pours out if you turn the shell sideways and that got most of the bugs out I did that once a day for about a week and all the mites were gone and um, he hasn't had any bugs since if you have a very large hermit crab like Dante you can actually do some really great detail work with cleaning the shell uh, Dante's shell is pretty clean right now because recently he changed out of it so I was able to clean it and then give it back to him. But normally, at bath time, I would actually just take a toothbrush to Dante's shell. You see all these little crevices and everything and they get dirt in them. If you have a toothbrush, one that hasn't been used with toothpaste or one that's really old and you've cleaned so there's no toothpaste left, just a, toothpaste, just a toothbrush and regu this regular fresh water we've been using on the shell and you can really clean it very well. Now, don't torment your crab, don't do it for too long, but if you're doing baths once a week and you clean the shell once a week, it keeps it pretty nice. Obviously, bathing Dante requires the water to be much deeper because he's a much larger crab. So it's a good idea to bathe your smallest crabs first and then work your way up to your largest. Though bathing is a fun and useful way to inspect your crabs weekly, and though I abide by it myself, it's not necessary to bathe your hermit crabs. Plenty of people keep hermit crabs without ever bathing them. As long as you're providing big pools of fresh and salt water in your tank, your hermit crabs should be able to maintain themselves relatively well. Again, do bathe your hermit crab when you take him home from the pet store and after he comes up from a molt. But if you don't want to bathe them or if you're uncomfortable doing it, you don't have to. Let your hermit crabs enjoy their romp tank for 10 to 15 minutes after their bath. This allows them to dry off so they won't introduce the stress coat chemical into their own water in the tank, and it gives them plenty of time to explore. Thank you for joining us here at Yadokari Nation. My name is Caroline, and good luck bathing your hermit crabs.